let's assume anybody in life gives you a number when it comes to finance, this is the first lesson, see whether it is a constant or a variable. Okay? Constant means, if somebody came and told you a fixed deposit, 8%, what does it mean? 8.00. Is it a constant or a variable? It's a constant. If somebody told you you will make 15% return, will it be a constant? It will not be a constant. There will be no year in the next 20 years where you will get 15.00. So, market risk is measured in a word, word called standard deviation. It is called standard deviation. It is sounding more complex than it is. So, 15%, if somebody told you you will make 15%, you have to first check whether it's a constant or a variable. If it is a variable, you need to know the variation of the variable. Okay? So standard deviation helps you measure the variance of the variable. Now, the strategy which I follow for my clients is 15% return expectation and standard deviation of 8. Standard deviation of 8. It means that you can have 15 plus 8, 15 minus 8. Is it so complex? Definitely simpler than the name for sure. Right? It is the deviation from your expectation. So what is the range you have now? 7 to 23. Is it basic arithmetic? 15 plus 8, 15 minus 8? This is called range 1. Now comes range 2. You should add 15 plus 8 twice. So 15 plus 8 plus 8 is how much? 31. And 15 minus 8 minus 8 is minus 1. So how many ranges did we calculate using the standard deviation? Two ranges. Okay. Statistics tells you that 98% of the time, your return will be in this range. What I'm trying to drive down as a message is, don't take risk as an English word. Use it as a mathematical word.